when God called Moses and Moses was the leader of the people of God who brought Israel out of the bondage of Egypt Joshua was not in the position to occupy leadership responsibility but Joshua had the distinct privilege of walking with Moses he watched Moses he saw when Moses prayed he saw the moment that Moses went up on the mountain to meet with God he saw the miracles that God performed in the midst of Israel through the life and the ministry of Moses And when Moses came to the end of his days, when God was about to take him, Joshua received importation from Moses. And God reaffirmed the word of promise to Joshua and said, As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. And that is what we want to see. The same way God was with us, we want to see him being with our children when we are no longer there. But it doesn't happen happen chance. It doesn't happen by accident. We have to be intentional. In fact, the Bible tells us that at a particular time, Moses laid his hands upon Joshua and prayed for him and God allowed a transference of the anointing that was on the life of Moses to be transferred to Joshua. And first forward Joshua now leaves Israel as a young man who was responsible who was full of integrity and he took Israel into the promised land but just before they would enter he called Israel to order and he said it is same evil unto you to serve the Lord then choose you today whom you will serve everybody say choose let me tell you something you will eventually be what you choose today if you choose to be an extraordinary child of God that will be respected in society your choice will eventually be a reality those who were here on wednesday evening i told you god made man with what we call free will moral agency you are a free will moral agent it means you have the right to choose to be what you want to be you have the right to choose to be bad and God will not stop you and if you have been bad you have the right to choose and say I don't want to be bad I want God to help me to be a good person and guess what because you chose that path it will eventually be your lot God doesn't want a group of people to serve him who will look like robots you put you pluck the rubber to the electric power or you put a battery in it and then you press come and then it starts coming to you and when you say stop it stops when you press go and then it goes you say new in news 
God doesn't want a people like that. He wants people who know he is a good God and he deserves their worship uh, and they will choose for themselves. Uh, I know where he took me from. I know what he's done for me. If you don't want to serve him, uh, I have made up my mind. Uh, I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to worship the Lord. I don't need nobody to force me to come to church. I will do it because it is necessary. When I come I'm here I come here because I love the Lord I'm not here because I want to please anybody and God loves it when we use our power to choose for him many people use their power to choose against him but Joshua said, as for me and my house, we choose to serve the Lord. But you make your choice. And after Joshua spoke this very challenging and provocative word, to Israel, the Bible says, all of them came before Joshua and they said, God forbade that we should forsake the Lord and to follow after other gods. God forbade that we make a decision against God who has been so good to us. We didn't make it this far by ourselves. We were able to conquer and dispossess nations that are more stronger than us. Not because of our military might, but because of the power of the grace of God. And if God has brought us this far, why can we serve him? And they say, Joshua, we will serve the Lord. And we will not just serve him, we will serve him in sincerity and in truth. Hallelujah. God loves people who will serve him in sincerity. One of the worst things you can do as a Christian is to, to deal with God in pretense. Hypocrisy in the house of God is a sickness how in the world you claim you are serving God but all you're doing is to show up for man to see you are coming to church you're doing this and doing that but if it is just to show up for men to see and it is not a matter of the heart then you're wasting your time in every offering that people made to God in Bible days the ones that God rejected were the ones that were giving in insincerity Even if that offering is the praises from your mouth. God said one time concerning Israel, the reason why I rejected their worship is because these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Lip service, no heart inside. If we have made the choice to serve the Lord then let's serve him in sincerity and in truth the Bible says God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth somebody say amen 